Hey guys, welcome to GT Live, where today we're doing something a little bit different. Wait, what was that? What? Put your content in the subreddit theory. What, what song is that? It's the meme review song. Oh, I get it. Except with I terrible it. lyrics and no production value whatsoever. Oh, but blatantly ripped off of PewDiePie before what, he got a tambourine. are you trying to get people to meme that version of... No, I'm just saying that right now we have a standardized opening. We have never done a meme review before. We are doing a meme review today, and true to the meme review format, we need some sort of intro song that is different than our usual intro song. Well, if we're going to have some sort of meme review intro, we also probably need a hashtag that's like G-T-Y-A-Y-I-A... <laughs> Yay. Yay. GTI. 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 Yay. Yay. So, hey, today we're doing something a little bit different, which is a meme review. Yes, we are over a year late to this format, but you know what? So is our subreddit, so there you go. There it is. <laughs> so, there you go. Wait, to be fair, we are over a year late to this format, but our subreddit was a, like a year minus a month late to this format, and then us. We're like 20 days late to this format because these started appearing on the subreddit Probably 20 days ago. Probably they've been on the so, sub, like hanging around for a while and they just got like consolidated into the subreddit recently. Yeah, it's become a thing. So, so this is something uh, that I'm excited to try. We are still obviously going to, it's going to be rough because we've never done it before, but... Um, meme reviews, right? It's a popular thing on YouTube where people who follow a channel the are- The kids are doing it these days. It's, it's a thing that the youngsters are doing where they basically send in, you Is know, jokes about their favorite content creators. Is this going to be because everything's going to be making fun of, I don't know, like Sansa's Nest or something really old? I guarantee there's a lot of FNAF involved. Oh boy! Uh, I think how, Sansa's Nest might be unique. too old. <laughs> Thank FNAF God. is always relevant. Thank you. Thank goodness. Um, okay, so we'll basically hang out on the couch. I'll pull these up and and we'll just, because we don't have anyone to live switch between them, we'll just run through them yeah, we'll in like a through. zillion tabs that we have open on our computer right it, now. <laughs> it'll be great. So uh, on the Game Theorist subreddit, recently the moderators, who do a phenomenal job, they they are the unsung heroes here, um, they do a great, great job. We are singing you now. Everything. Yeah. You are unsung, but now you are sung. They do a great job. I've never met them. I've never talked with them. But they do a great job of making sure that everything is, you know, nicely curated, well moderated, and do stuff like this. So this is a recent thing that they started where they started doing Fan Art Fridays and Meme Mondays. Meme, meme Mondays. And so I saw this appear on the Game Theory subreddit, and I'm like, hey, this is a fun thing. Let's try it. Let's see if people like it. And maybe... We can hop aboard this bandwagon a year late, but get a lot of jokes at my expense. That sounds great. I feel like that's, you know, as a YouTuber, that's basically your life. Everything that's is just a big joke for. at your expense. Yeah, it makes sense. So there you go. And you know what? If this takes off, I'll get myself a tambourine. And we can tambourine and I'll clap. I'll give it clap reviews. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it theorist points. It's also nice to see a little bit of different stuff there. So on the Game Theorist subreddit, usually... It's just a bunch of theory suggestions, 90% of which are FNAF, 10% yeah. of which are Minecraft, and then like, you I saw a Forza one the other day. Aww. I know, I was like, oh, Forza theory. It, was, it's, <laughs> it reminded me of Wally -E with the little sprout coming out of the boot. <laughs> it's like, we must nurture There's this. There's hope for the future. We must nurture you, little boot sprout. Forza theory. You're my, you're my little boot sprout. Uh, Mario Maker levels have been submitted a bunch too, so that's that's kind of the new thing. So anyway, let's get meme down review. Let's memes. get into this. Woo. Let's see what we're talking about. Okay. So if you want to support Meme Monday, uh, here you go. Just this is the game another theory meme. Monday. Ooh, that's a good one. Just another meme Monday. Whoa, whoa. Wish Copyright it was neutral. Sunday. Oh, it is Sunday. Yeah. We're filming this on a Sunday at like 9 a.m. We are filming this on a Sunday <sighs> at 9 in the morning. It's actually 10 in the morning. It was going to be 9. Yeah, and then but the, the TriCaster took an hour. You know, how, to... you know the deal. All right. <laughs> TriCaster took an hour. Okay. Oh, my God. So here we go. Here's number one. I haven't looked ahead at these. Have you looked ahead? No, at these? I, I just, just like I just up. ran down and okay. just opened up the tabs blindly. So some so. of these could suck, but this one... <laughs> they could suck. 
Scott, please. Scott, please. Don't make it more complicated. Scott, I don't want to rewrite the timeline again, Scott, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel this way. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I've seen this look on you. <laughs> there have been times. This is like the Wednesday night at 2 a.m. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. The, the best snap timelines happen at 2 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. It's so oh, true. Uh, that's that? actually that's actually also the only time that I have right now to read the new FNAF book, which like, came out like a couple weeks right. ago, and I'm slowly working my way through he it. He like bursts in the room. He's like, Stephanie, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I do. I'm like, Stephanie, can I, I, I preface it real hard. Yeah. I'm... I, I'm like that guy, the, the little kid, afraid to ask his parents, like, he needs supplies for a school project, like, right before it's due. He's like, I'm like, Stephanie, can I talk to you about FNAF right now? Like, oh, it fine. doesn't make sense. Okay, if Foxy has two toes in the first location and he has three toes in the second, is it the same Foxy? I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, it's because it's cause Scott wasn't thinking about it. And he's like, no, no, Scott was thinking about it. It's like, even if he wasn't, the fan base will think that he's thinking about it. And if I say that he's not thinking about it, they will literally crucify this me. Is, this is the look. This, this is, is me. I also, I also appreciate that of all the, like, versions of me. It's Elvis. You have, like, Elvis hair. <laughs> well, this is, is this, this is back when, like, I was in the weird, like, my Oh, yeah, your hair was, like, maroon. Phase. Yeah. <laughs> we had done, like, one dye choice. over. We had dyed his hair back to brown, but the red still showed through because it was so potent. And oh. so he just looked like he had this, like, pink glow under his hair. You, it, it looks like Elvis. Matt, anyway. Matt Pat is a sad doggo. This is very accurate. <sighs> okay, next. Yeah, that's fair. You can't hide the truth, Matt Pat. Teabagging. Tactical crap. So <laughs> I have seen this one pop up a good bit, so I'm, I'm familiar with this one. I like Which is format. my version of the Drake meme, yeah. which I appreciate. I, I feel like I've made it at this point, right? Because you have a meme format. Uh, no, I have a, not only a meme format, a Drake meme a format. A meme that's a the, that's a derivative of the Drake meme? Yes. <laughs> like, once you have a derivative Drake meme, mm. you've made it in the meme community. So How many Miyamoto, layers of this? Miyamoto there? has one. Oh, my gosh. SpongeBob has one. There's a, I mean, there's Sometimes, okay, okay, so nerdy talk really quick. Sometimes when we're doing consulting for consulting clients, we <coughs> have to explain to them, like, what, uh, how Meme memes work and true. how, and, and people don't believe us when we tell them how complicated memes are, yeah. right? And so I feel like we should use this as an example where it's like teabagging tactical lot. crouching is a reference to, like, our playthroughs, but also a reference to like all the first person shooters, especially like Call of Duty. <laughs> and then this is a this is a format meme that is a riff on another meme from Drake. And then and then you explain like how the meme works where he's like, mm, no, and then he's like, oh yeah, and then that's the <laughs> meme. But this is one this is like four steps away from that, but it's still it's still a viable meme. TLDR. Lol. Meme, lol. Meme this, lol. TLDR, I like this meme. Yeah, Thanks, this Steph. is a cool meme. <laughs> appreciate okay, appreciate saying, the academic I'm just life. saying, from a nerdy perspective, like, <coughs> we actually explain this kind of stuff. It's true, and no one gets it, and no one appreciates it either. And they're like, like oh, that's weird. Internet weird. <laughs> no one appreciates it, and that is how you get people buying some good news, kicking John Krasinski out, and then putting it on a fancy set. I knew you would like, find a way to bring this into this episode. That, no, it's true, though. That's all you get. Like, these are the people, like, the people who don't understand memes are the same people who are like, that's a popular YouTube channel for 10 videos. Buy it and change everything about it. It's been full of celebrities and Broadway stars. Yeah. I can't imagine why it's gotten 12 million views an episode. Yeah, cast reunion of The Office and cast reunion of Hamilton, and it has 2 million subscribers in a month? Whoa, buy it. It's whatever. Guys, you, what do you, you think? What do you think? Okay. So anyway, we can can we have a petition to just make tactical crouches the new thing? Tactical crouches. Tactical teabagging is like is so out. so That's Xbox like 360 era. Right. Tactical crouch is the teabagging of the new millennium. I'm sorry though, it removes teabags. From the world of gaming. You know, I'm okay with that separation. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm all right. I know how you feel about tea. I, I do like tea. Is tea, ba is tea bagging tea becoming bagging, too mainstream? Tea 
<laughs> I, I, it is a bummer that tea is becoming a little bit too mainstream, but I, I think tea, tea bagging I can let go of. Okay, so the only, from henceforth, the only tea bagging will be when Stephanie steeps a bag in her cup. Thus, the term teabagging. Please don't, just don't, just stop talking. And from henceforth, <laughs> this is now the tactical crouch. Ooh, good quad workout. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. Good stuff. Should we do GT, should we do GT <coughs> Not Live of home fitness to help motivate everyone during quarantine? I would love to do a, they will see me curse more than I've ever cursed <laughs> on anything It'll else. It'll be worse than the Bob Ross episode. I would love to do Ring Fit Adventure. I, I hear Ring Fit Adventure I know, we great. can't get a hold of I one, I can't get though. a hold of it, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, you another have, one. If you have like, oh, this, <laughs> you got sunburned. You got sunburned. You got burned. Sun <laughs> I like that. I like it. Also, can I just, how old are, I need These to come up with more so pictures old. of me to be memeable. Like if this is what people are having to dredge yeah, up. Yeah, and also the only pictures that existed of you on the internet for like six years were of you, of you going, hmm, <coughs> or of you pointing at something like that didn't exist. There was nothing that you were actually pointing at. There was something at. there. That I'm was, pretty that sure was you at not. SGC, not some good news, Square Attack Gaming Convention. <laughs> some gaming some convention. Some gaming convention. <laughs> SGC, some game convention. Oh, man. Uh, also, I, I, you got sunburned, son. You, you got, got burned, son. You got burned, son. I like that one. I like that one. Well, that's why I'm pointing at it, okay. Stephanie. There you go. That's why I point. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, my God. Great. oh my god! Th this was a popular oh one. Oh my! Why pillagers were ex ex why pillagers were excelled from the village, expelled, expelled, I think. Ex exiled, kicked out, <laughs> booted, <laughs> given the boot, the toot boot. Why pillagers were excelled? They, they just excelled. They, excelled. They, they excelled. excelled from village. Oh, this and is no, perfect. It means they succeeded. It means they super succeeded. You succeeded. Pillagers has. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> Pillagers has a different couloir of skin couloir and thus excelled, excelled from the village. <laughs> this one already gets the point. This, this gets the point. <laughs> this, this is grammar right here. <laughs> this is grammar. Pillagers. Do the grammar. Do, do the words. Pillagers has a different couloir of skin couloir and thus excelled uh. from the village. Pillagers does experiments on villagers. I mean, that is the theory. <laughs> Pillagers has bad grammar and thus excelled from village. That's my point right there. I like that we're still using excelled. <laughs> oh, you we're using Excel. It's unfortunate that I'm seeing that. You got in trouble at school. <coughs> you are excelled. I, I wrote, it's funny because yesterday I wrote uh, oh, a new Minecraft theory that's all about, I mean, it's another, it's kind of like another Pillager, Illager uh, series. B Bajillager. Banana, banana, fulfillager. <laughs> and I wish I had actually seen this before that because I would have totally worked this into the episode. <laughs> the pillagers were excelled. Uh, all right. Uh, anybody getting tired oh, no, of FNAF? I was going to say FNAF. Anything else? Oh. Another FNAF theory. <laughs> I mean, so that's not, that's, that's your choice, unfortunately. Right? I mean, don't shoot the messenger. It's not my fault that FNAF's the only game that people care about on the channel at this yeah. point. I'm trying. Uh, I mixed in Yoshi the other day. I know, that was fun. I mixed in Yoshi the <laughs> other day. <laughs> there was Yoshi. There was Minecraft. No, and we did Hello Puppets. That was good. That's true. We did, we're, we're doing Warface. Oh which, yeah. Which was a brand deal, but still it's a different game. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did, we did like Marvel Strike Force, which was also a brand deal, but it was another game. Another game. We do a lot of Nintendo Minecraft? Still. What about anything else? Another Minecraft theory. Yeah. There. Boom. boom. There. Boom. Got it. Boom. It's Meta so, theories. It's actually, and the problem, because I was thinking about this, the problem isn't even so much that those are the only games that get views, because it's not actually true, no. but the problem is, especially for the last few months, there have been no, like, all of the game releases have been pushed back. There have been so many game releases pushed back. We were we wanted to do The Last of Us. We wanted to do we know, we did. a whole bunch of stuff, actually. And we have actual we theories have, yeah. on Last of Us and stuff like that. Another but because Apex Legends theory. We want to, like, do all of that stuff, but it's all been pushed back. It's so true. Anyway. Yeah, it's made it hard. Yeah. That being said, you know, when mm. people are just really, people are really excited about Minecraft and FNAF. It, it, the gaming industry just needs to make something that people yeah. are excited about. Come on, gaming industry. It's, 
And also with, like, lore that people are excited to pick apart. It's, or science that people are excited to pick I, apart. I've been trying to mix it. this into recent theories, but, like, an explanation a little bit for why it's difficult to actually make theories. Like, a, one of the FNAF episodes recently talked about that at the beginning, where, like, it requires a very specific game with a very specific set of qualifications. Like, the developers need to be smart enough to kind of, like, seed in lore but not give it too much but also not make it too vague like it's it's very difficult to thread Get the needle good devs. <laughs> and minecraft actually has done a really like i didn't expect minecraft to be that sort of game until i started digging into it and i'm like oh there's a lot there and from the recent minecraft updates they've really leaned into it and I it feels like now that with us yeah i think now they understand that there's kind of a back and forth going on and yeah. that there's an actual appetite in the community for minecraft lore which has been great, and it's good that you guys it's, enjoy it. And it's, it's great for their world world building. It's great for fan yeah. bases because you can like really dig into characters and and the world and stuff. So yeah, so they've it done a for they've done a good job. But like a lot of the AAA games, it's just hard to do because like right they either don't care about story at all or they're like Bleh. Far Cry. We wanted to do one Bleh. with Far Cry. We might do one on we Far might Cry. Do one on Far Cry. We might. We'll anyway, see. so we try. We try. We try. Game industry, get good. Also, they, they exist. Here's the other last thing I'll throw out. It doesn't help that YouTube doesn't show you everyone either. Like, they're there on the channel, but just because YouTube's like, oh, this person likes FNAF, shovel them more FNAF. Shovel it, shovel They're it. out there. Go explore the video tab, please. Oh, here we go. We all know which one's better. Lonely Freddy or Psychic Friend Fred oh. This is This is true. I, That's fair. I was actually sad to do that theory because I'm like, oh, he's actually a Lonely Freddy. But really, in our hearts... He'll always be psychic friend Fred Bear. He's here. He's there. He's everywhere. He's in my heart. Ugh. Who are you gonna? Call? What <laughs> was that? A sigh at psychic friend Fred Ugh. Bear. What are you talking about? Sappy. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you sick of psychic friend Fred Bear? I, you can never get too much psychic friend Fred Bear. Stephanie, can I please talk to you about FNAF? It's Wednesday at two in the morning. Please let me talk to you. It's really driving me nuts right now. But there's the time traveling ball pit. I'm like, here, talk to Skip. <laughs> Peepachu, there's a time traveling ball pit. <gasps> I'll talk to literally anyone around me at this point. Where's the Peepachu backpack hanger? I thought he was in here. Uh, no, he's, he's time around. traveling ball pit. Okay, Lonely Freddy. Yeah, it's not nearly as good as Psychic Friend Fred Bear. If I can contribute one thing to the FNAF series, Scott. Just, just make him a psychic friend and not some weird portable security camera. Right. Okay, when I tell my friends how much I love game theory and why they should watch it, oh. nobody can. Oh, no. It's awesome. Oh, no. You well, guys, it's so cool. Well, that's why you're smarter than your friends. Yeah, really. You're going to be their boss one day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's next. true. <laughs> next. Yeah. We'll see who cares when you're signing their paychecks. <laughs> like, oh, wait, maybe you should have watched that show. Woo! Spicy! Getting spicy in the memes. Anyway. That was actually the comeback that my parents taught me to use in middle school when yeah. everyone was making fun of me. When everyone it would bully him. Shut people up. It was great. <laughs> it did like it Aww. worked so much. It did. They're like, man, that pad. I'm like, okay, I'll remember that when I'm signing your paychecks. Shut down. They were probably like, what? What? <laughs> that don't make sense. Nobody cares. <laughs> Is it that hard to make education fun? Okay, here we go. The schooling system. Making education fun won't help. Kids are just lazy. Oh, man. And then we show... Aww, oh, Ted. Ted. Oh, Ted Talks. The one cool teacher. The Indian guy on... The... <laughs> I feel like that's a little inadvertently racist. The, the, the one Indian guy. The one, there are... There are... There, yep. Is that oh, Khan God. Academy? Are, are we talking, are we talking? Khan yeah, Academy right? right now? Also, they have multiple teachers. And also, <laughs> I just, I just, oh, I, may, no. I feel like maybe we should pass that, oh. that one on by. This is, this is where you insert the meme of like sweating profusely as we cover this. Like, who's this racist sweating <laughs> profusely? Uh, okay. Hey, but we're included in there. Oh, uh, that's nice. I mean, not this us, channel because we're not us educational. And the, no, definitely not. Us that. in real life is certainly not educational. No. We were for a little bit. That was silly. What were we thinking? I like that we're hiding behind. We're not gar. Also, thank you for calling us out as the thing hidden in the pipes of the walls. Not in the garbage. Well, I mean, yeah. it's all technically it's all garbage. garbage. Like that's the the thing. But yeah. you know, at least we're hidden in the walls. I feel like that's kind of cool. I don't know who this is. No, I don't know I, who that is. I, I feel bad admitting that I, I don't recognize it, but I, I, 
It looks like Anim Dude, Scott Coffin's guy coming out of a brain. I also don't know the banana. Should I know the banana? I, the banana looks familiar to me, but I just don't. I'm right? Not sure. I feel bad about this. Maybe I need to brush up. We're not. On my... Are we? Yeah, we're not real. Are we not really in the education channel set? That are we? Are we out of the loop? We've guys? we've gotten approved for a while there. The other education channels were kind of looking down on us, but we've gotten approved. We got it. Yeah. Uh, phys got... Physics girl said we were okay. Physics and girl said we're okay. Like... Veritasium is willing to talk to me. Yeah. And he's a great guy. Right. And Vsauce. When he's willing to talk to me. All the Vsauces. The Vsauces. The, sauces the, so are the various. Sauces like us. We are steeped in sauce. We're great. So I think we're we're approved there. Yeah. So I like this meme. I like being included in this group. I also like that we're in a wall. Next. Next. Oh wait, this is the, the, the oh, same one. There we go. There it is. Okay. Wait. FNAF theory episode four twenty sixty nine. Lol. Yeah. Du <laughs> double lol. Four twenty four twenty plays in it with a sixty nine because oh, the numbers are flipped. Oh, wow. Purple guy is the son of Marka. Marka Player, sorry. Marco, Marka Player! <laughs> Mar Marka Player! And Thanos. It sounds like a rip-off channel about pickup artists. <laughs> You've heard of Markiplier, right? Well, me, Mar Mark Marka Player. Player. <laughs> That's his Inda Club alter ego. There's Darkiplier and then there's Marka Player. <laughs> Marka Player! Oh my gosh, Mark! <laughs> Mark, uh, next time you do uh, th theft please. with Markiplier, whatever your next project is, heist with Markiplier, please make a new personality. Mark and it player. is Markiplier. I, you've done all the like jokes and sound alikes yeah, for the first half of your name. Now, now it's time to move on to the second half. Let's change the second half of your name, the Markiplier's of the world. So anyway, Purple Guy is the son of Markiplier and Thanos. Someone makes up an app theory and game theory. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate the feedback, but you're wrong. <laughs> you know, sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this. Right? This There's is a Freddy so head. complicated. There's all, this is also Michael Afton tuning oh, in, reacting. what? I, I don't... This one might be too oh advanced. Oh my god. There's no. a lot of layers. So wait. So he's... So he's he's saying sorry, but you're wrong. You you've just come out of a 25 hour surgery with FNAF. Is he dead? Is the theory dead? I think Michael you Lapp killed the theory. Yeah, it seems it does seem theory. like you killed the theory. And Maybe. Michael Afton is like, nah, brah. Let's just say this is a great one. This, I, it's great. Mark a player. Great, love it. All, all mark a player all the time. <laughs> Fantastic. Still not over it, lol. Undertale. We live in a society. Next. <laughs> Guys, I'm not Sans, <laughs> I swear. I love this. See, I think this is great. You know, and honestly... I told you there would be one of these, but... <laughs> right? I, I, you're right. You're totally right. You said that we would totally have one. I, I do appreciate that Nintendo... <laughs> Ninten <laughs> Nintendo acknowledged the Sans' nest thing I, by I including so. a skin of Sans in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Don't say that. You're going to you're gonna arouse the world's worst fan base ever. <laughs> Even Ness is kind of salty about it. You know, guys, I'm saying... I understand. He says it, but can we really believe what Ness is saying? <laughs> Ask yourself this. What is Ness really <gasps> hiding? Think about it. Consider. What is he hiding? Get out of here. I, I, I believe it. Get out of here. Do you believe? No one does. No I don't, one I don't no touch this IP with a 10-foot pole anymore. I'm just like, nope, you're not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steph, Steph, you, whereas I, I go to late night Stephanie and ask her about FNAF, Undertale is verboten. I can't, I can't even address it. We, well, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's never going to be worth ever talking about that game. It's so sad because it's a cool game, but it's it's just like never going to be worth talking there, about. There's a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of unfortunate <laughs> things that have come out of Undertale for us. And so it's like, oh, that's kind of sad. Next! <laughs> sad to, no, very true. Oh, this is a tweet I did. Oh, man. Uh -oh. Someone dug into uh -oh. my tweets. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Now. And now we've come full circle. Sonic Jump. And Mario runs. Sonic jumps and Mario runs. Hey, this is good oh, for hey! me. I had a witty idea. Aww. I had a good tweet at some Once. point. That was long ago. Back when I tweeted. What do you? Before oh, again, December I was scared off of Twitter. That was 2016. Yeah, Twitter is like it's, it's the some tough fan bases, man. Uh, you know, you just, you just it, it. It's like you could put out content, but then people will just make you sad about it. So why? <laughs> right? And so I'm like, I'm not going on Twitter as much anymore. Uh, it's been, and it's been great for my mental health. I feel so much better. I know. <laughs> um, though I will say, 
some of my old tweets, I'm sure, the t I don't even remember some of the things in the early days, so I don't go through them. Please I'm so don't. sorry Please. if they're there. Just, uh, um, we'll put the apology out now. Anything yeah, you find on Twitter, it was all, we apologize. I have never meant to We've offend learned. anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it was. Whatever immature, dumb thing yeah, we said 10 was, years ago on Twitter, was, we are sorry. Right. Uh, but I will say, there's a couple of tweets of mine that I just have stuck in my head that, like, aged well. Yeah. Like... Like, I warned people about Fallout 76 before Fallout 76 happened. Oh, I'm like, I'm girl. like, don't, I basically did a tweet, something like, don't trust pre-orders or like pre-order, uh, you know, like pre-order culture is going to burn you. And then Fallout 76 came and everyone hated it and it was a glitchy mess. And I, then I was like, hey, that was a tweet I did. Good for me. Pen on the back. That's the only tweet that I remember. <laughs> Tweets. The yeah, rest of Twitter not, is a blur. Yeah, it's all a blur. But this, hey, but I got another one. Someone dug through the old ones, hey and apparently one also came true. So that's great. Uh, you know it's true. Nobody, absolutely no one. GG! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, I feel like... Right, the faces <laughs> of GT Live thumbnails. I feel like singling out... I, I feel a bit called out on this one. I, I know. But this, this should be... YouTube thumbnail. I know it should be. It. I think you. Can, yeah, I think you can expand this, this a little bit wider. This is M. This is M. This is YouTube. But I, I like, will own that. I will also oh, totally own that. Absolutely. We look like. I, we look like we've just gotten like the world's biggest shock in every thumbnail. Every game. And then it's is like so we're shocking. playing Mario. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Mario Maker today. Oh no, some of those levels are pretty short. Mario jumped. Whoa! Whoa! We're not as over there. I, I will say, I think our reactions. Jump scare. Whoa! <laughs> I will say, I think our reactions are a lot less overblown yeah, than a lot of other less players out we're, there. I, I like to think we that. Actually we're a lot more organic. Yeah, we don't. I act. I, if I scream on a live stream, because it's like because I'm actually scared. It is a very Otherwise, real I'm thing. just going to be like, nah, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> anyway. That's the Steph. Can we get a Daz dumb from Stephanie? A Daz dumb. There it is. She, she, you heard it here I first. I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't want that to be used against it's, people. It, I don't. I don't want people to be feeling like any like something is. It's dumb. okay, Stephanie. I don't want, I, there I, are some things I feel that, like that are makes dumb out there. Feel bad. There are some dumb things, Stephanie. There are some. Dumb it's like things. when my mom's like. I don't want to be mean. And I'm like, if you're reporting the true facts of an event it's without, mean. That's, that's, just, that's just the facts that's of an event. the tea. Yeah, that, that, it's not even the tea. That it's is not, unopinionated, just... objective reality. If it sounds mean to you, maybe the reality is My mom does that all the time, by the way. She's all... She lampshades. She lampshades. <laughs> she's like, I don't want to be mean. <laughs> it's like, it's just the story. I you're. Say... Like, if you were saying, like, like, Mom's being bad. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say like, that. No, Mom, it's okay. You can say that. She You're has telling a very, the facts of the story. She, she has an Ohio accent. That was what I was going for. It was a, it think, was a, it was a poor rendition. I think they know at this point. I think they're aware. <laughs> Ooh, title. They, they, they didn't give this one a title. You think you're cool. Listen, bud, I wear Game Theory merch to school. Bet you feel stupid now. Yeah. Gonna be signing your paychecks. <laughs> Go, this is this was this is an act this is actually a recolored photograph of me walking through this <laughs> oh my god this, no. Nope. no 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 nope. no based on what's in that image that has weapons no nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh no what have I done no I was like no. what are you doing I, what are you doing if we just saying? crop it a little bit what just, so you were a skull you were an emaciated skull walking yeah through I was a very skull. thin person walking this school wearing like, bullets on your chest what well, uh, no, <laughs> we're gonna have no, to crop, just it really. crop it down very narrow <laughs> to the just the face of the person it's, wearing a. It's game. really just just the eyeballs here. <laughs> yeah. So let's move your on. Teeth, your let's, teeth. You have nice teeth. On. There you go. I'll sign your page, and it's me doing the point. Those aren't guns. Those are finger guns. Doing the point. Me being like, sign your paycheck. Click away from this meme before de YouTube demonetizes us for the use of an it's, image of a gun. That's true. That's they a will do that. A fictionalized, dramatized image of this a gun. This is just meme. Finish your FNAF theory yet, says Scott. Yeah, why? FNAF 2020. To which Scott cackles. Ah. And Peter Parker, a.k.a. me cries. <laughs> I, mean, I like that you're Peter Parker. That's right? a good look for you. I, I appreciate hey, that. Woo! Peter Parker. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man right, right here. This is accurate. I agree. This is, I mean, this is every time. Every time. It is uncanny. Because Scott and I don't, like, talk really 
at all. Every very once in a while. Like yeah. for the charity stream, I talked to him. A little bit. Over email. A little bit. And even then, he's like, I'm not telling you anything about this game yeah, that you're doing on a live stream. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, I guess I'll try to figure out how I work it into this large production. Right. Um, so I don't know. But ev but it's uncanny that every time I'm releasing a FNAF theory, we, our brains must be in sync, though. He's either releasing something, like, right before or, or like, right, right after. after. It's weird. It it's, is weird. It's weird. We're, we're in cycle with each other, I guess. That's odd. That's odd. It is weird. Uh, sometimes the timing just, it, it's that group think mentality. Yeah. I, think. I am excited about FNAF 2020. Just <laughs> throwing it there. Because it's being made by the same team who did Help Wanted. Yeah. That was and good. that was great. That, okay. This is different. Oh, this is different. Here we go. Everyone has a plumbus. <gasps> yes. Some film theory love. Yes. Everyone has a plumbus in their home. Some of us have to make ours out of balloons, though. Keep the Rick and Morty theories coming. Wow. <gasps> when you, this is, first off, this is incredible. Whoa. Second off. This is so unbelievably disturbing. Like, seeing a plumbus... It's really gross. ...made out of real-life materials is real uncomfortable. Like, you were worried about the skull and the picture of a gun getting us demonetized. Right? I think this right here has gotten us age-gated. I don't... Right? I don't, I'm not... I can't tell you exactly why, but it definitely has. <laughs> I can't... I... Mm. YouTube... The, the YouTube reviewers are seeing this, and they're like, I don't know what it is. But I don't but, like but it. But we better censor that. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, though. I gotta it's say. so good. How you, the heck did you do this? So this is from Fan Art Friday. This okay. is unbelievable. So that so, looks like hot dogs. Yeah, well, these are the these are the long, skinny... I know, but I'm saying, how did he construct it? Let's say hot this dogs. This is so good. That's, uh, that's like a beach ball stretched around some kiwis. And then the middle part... Just a plumbus. You got, you got a regular make, plumbus. And I appreciate how you refined your schleem. <laughs> they, they really cut down the schleem. They, what else is... I haven't watched that episode in a really long time. I know there's like the schleem. You, you got to tickle a part of it. You got to tickle your, <laughs> tickle your plumbus. This is amazing. I love this. This makes me really this happy. This is so good. Uh, Fan Art Friday. Oh, no. Mike Afton and Ennard. Uh, I mean, this this is basically the character design. Scott, yeah. hire this man. <laughs> you hired. <laughs> the like action. I, here, here's the meme for you. Here's my Drake meme. It's like the official animatronics. <laughs> this guy. There it is. That's it. Love it. This is. It's pretty accurate. I like yeah. it. Done. Spot on. Spot on. A plus. Whom has awakened me? Matt oh Pat, boy. we finally solved it. The final FNAF theory. Scott Coffin. Whomst has awakened the Ancient Ones? Who is Barney emerged? I was going to say, is that like a cosplay Barney? <laughs> oh, no, that is the real Barney. <laughs> the one you know from TV was the cosplay oh, Barney. No. This is the origin of the legends. I'm so concerned about it's that. the Bigfoot. Remember that time when clowns were all the rage? Everyone no, was like hiding around in cl clown, clown suits, oh, walking the streets. Oh, the scary clown thing. Yeah, Why was the news weird. reporting on the Barneys right? walking around? They're just infesting. Releasing your animatronic murder games. Whom's has awakened me? I this is love you. You love me. <laughs> this, this brings to mind a really excellent question. Has anyone done a horror Barney A scary Barney? Barney? Game? Oh, please. I feel like I feel Barney... Like it has to be done. I feel like Barney is an untapped wealth of horror games Oh, totally. Because Barney is terrifying. I never... I was never a big Barney fan. I gotta was, admit. I was, like, at whatever age it was where I was, like, Barney's for babies. And I was, like, I secretly might like Barney. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I thought... I think and OG I was, like, Barney was good. But once they started mixing in... Bebop? Rocksteady? Nope, those are turtles. Was it, be, was it Bebop? Be, what was her name? I the girl know. dinosaur. I couldn't watch it because then it would be uncool. She was like was a triceratops or whatever. That was too much. It was like, oh, you added in like, you know, the poop pickle mm. of Barney. It's, a AVG, it's AVGN, but it's not his name, but it's the brand sensitive sure. name. Sure, uh, you're, meme, you're memeing hard. Pickle. Okay, poop just pickle. go. All right, what have I done? Matt Pat, there is nothing that makes me go inside besides FNAF them allow us to introduce <laughs> ourselves <laughs> mickey mouse <laughs> mickey the mouse for the record we actually we're big disney we're such big disney fans oh yeah the we we have season passes to disneyland 
and we take our hidden Mickey's book to Disneyland and find all the hidden Mickey's and Ollie loves Mickey and like we we are big Disney fans. <laughs> There's but nothing else. also also the mouse. I will say demonetization makes me go outside and oh, cry. Yeah. Oh. It, it, it's not making me go inside. Demonetization makes I me go it, outside like, and question my I life. I thought that meant like inside yourself no, to I know. cry. I, I mean that's accurate. Yes. Is it? Yes. Although Diet Coke makes me go. Well, it used to make me go inside, sit down, and drink, drink a lot gallons. Of it. Uh, now, it's it's the it's it's the Drake. No, thank you. No, thank you. The Miyamoto X. The Matt Pat. The Matt Pat neutral. I'm thinking about this. Hmm. I don't know if I approve. I think it's judgmentally considering. Ooh. Yeah. Judgmental Of course our memes would be yeah. overly complicated. I am appreciating that our memes are very complicated, they are. I feel They're like. They're multi-layered. You have to know the lore, the backs. There's a lot going on. No wonder no wonder, no one can even put a comment on them. They're like, right? what is this random picture? View entire discussion. There it is. There it is. The bot. The right. bot responded. Great. All right, here we go. This is late, but I had an idea. Fight me. Wheel of Gaming chooses FNAF again. <laughs> Aren't we forgetting one teensy weensy, but ever so crucial little tiny detail? I own you! Oh, Aww. it's it's so true. The house that FNAF built. The channel thank that FNAF you, built. FNAF. Right, thank you, FNAF. Thank you for empowering us to have a team around us. I, I, I've said it in those episodes, too. Like, yeah. FNAF has done so much good for the gaming community that, yeah... People are sick of it. And yeah, like, for a while there especially, it was, like, way overplayed. Oh, yeah. Uh, but now that it's kind of settled down and stuff, like, you have to respect what it's been able to do. And it's yeah. done so much good. Out of all the indie games that were just massive successes, mm -hmm. but a lot of them were flash in the pants, FNAF is the one that was able to, like, maintain afterward. Yeah. Right? Which, which one is of the commendable. Keys, one of the keys, and we actually tell, like, because uh, we talk to indie, gamer, uh, indie game developers, like, uh, fairly, fairly frequently, I guess. Um, but one of the things that we tell them if they're like planning a release of a game or a release of another game, we're like, no, you have to follow it on fast. You do. Because people will, they have a short memory. Will, yeah, people have a really short memory on the internet. And if you want to like bring them back in with the attention and that memory of the first like indie game they played, especially if it was kind of a short game, yeah. you have to follow it up fast. You can't have like two or three years between games. And yeah, that's really hard if you're an indie it's game hard, developer. But, Don't get but me wrong. You got to capitalize. You have well, to, you have to strike while the iron's hot. That's the only way to like build momentum. Yeah, you gotta build. It's it's interesting, right? It's I think FNAF might have like overdone it a little bit. Like yeah. four games in the span of like a year was okay, a lot. Okay, calm down. <laughs> but like two, okay, yeah. that's like two would have been fine. And then it's like you know it's hey, I got this huge surge of popularity. Let me follow it up while the iron's hot. At that point, you're kind of solidified. Yeah. And then you can take a little bit more time. But people are excited. You little release teasers and this and that. But, yeah, you have a lot of people who, like, strike that viral hit, but then they can't follow it up like, in a reasonable amount of time. they're like, yeah, in three years I'll release another game. And you're like, no, no, like, no, the internet will have changed years, completely. Everything, yeah, everything's going to be Gaming different. will have changed completely. You YouTube have to will do have changed it. completely. Yeah, exactly. You have to do it now. We, I'm glad. Wheel of Gaming, man. That, we brought that one back. I, I was... I, I really wanted to bring back some old school like game theory jokes, and so I brought back the Wheel of, Wheel gaming. of gaming. That that made me really happy. Yeah, I love the Wheel of Gaming. Uh, Matt Pat when Matt releases a new game, why does nothing ever go as planned? Yep. Ever. Fair enough. Uh, and especially when we are right in the middle of of the like FNAF craze, like releasing like FNAF Four was the one that killed me because I thought I had gotten ahead of it. We were at VidCon, and then like they released he released something like right before my theory came out. That completely ruined that theory. Yeah. And I'm at VidCon and I'm like, I can't do anything about this. Yeah. I tried to get ahead of it. Yeah. We're better now. Mark <laughs> left VidCon. Mark to go left play VidCon to go play for that. It was that yeah. big of a deal. It's true. Now nowadays it's like at Heist with Markiplier, I'm like, hey, you're gonna play the FNAF VR game? He's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, you should. It's He's really like, good. A FNAF game <laughs> kind, kind of. And I'm like, Mark, it's really good. Fast forward to that he played it and in his like hotel it. room it in fine. Austin. Yeah. It was funny. Uh, okay, every FNAF theory be like, use your GD brain. I mean, yeah, that's. I feel you, yeah. you would think that there wouldn't be a channel on YouTube that could succeed with where the moral of every story is like, just think about it. But that's kind of our channel. Ta-da! Just, just think about it. Just, just piece the evidence together. But not together. hard enough to nitpick it to death. <laughs> I mean, we kind of do that too. Here we go. You shouldn't have said that. You want my Diet Coke, you'll have to take it from my dead body. I can arrange that. Oh, cool. Ooh. 
Ooh, the chaos theorist. What are over people here. gonna do now that you're not addicted to Diet Coke anymore? I, right? I, don't, I mean, I, once an addict, always an addict. Uh, yeah, you it's, can always. It's a long term recovery process. It's true. Like, I could fall back. Uh, Should I get you wagon. the chips? <gasps> oh, I could totally oh, do you that. Could give me chips. I could present you with your chips. Oh, man. At we're this... going to come up on six months soon. I'll I was going to say, we're coming up on okay. a six month mark. Okay. It's true. I do need a new beverage to be addicted to, though. I know. It's hard to find a good replacement for Diet Coke. That also Beauty isn't soda. Been advertising so G Fuel. I made a joke in a recent theory. What was it? I, was it the Yoshi episode or the one that I just did where I'm like, I've never had G Fuel before. I'm sure it's terrible. <laughs> I, I, I don't know because it just sounds awful. Knock out. <laughs> no, I've don't never knock, tried it. Don't knock it before you try it then. I, I'm not, I, I said... I assume it's terrible. I didn't say I'm not going to drink it. PewDiePie assume. says his flavor is the best. He, I Maybe mean, you should drink PewDiePie's His specialty G crafted. PewDiePie, Pla- PewDiePie flavor. Here, G-flat. you know what we're going to do? It sound like he's poured his bathwater into it. But Bell, that's Belle Delphine's I know. G-Fuel flavor. I know. I'm just saying. <gasps> bathwater. True fact. I wanted to do a theory on that, on the Belle Delphine thing, too. I wanted to buy mm. some of her bathwater. And I wanted to test Ugh. whether or not she had actually, like, been in it. And like, I run t- it through... Run it through, like, a particle thing to see, like, if there were any, like, actual, like, skin flakes in it or bah. whatever. So bah. that way we would know whether or not she was just selling water. Bah. Bah. I still might do it one day. So gross. Anyway, Except so. at this point, no. the reason I stopped is because I was too late in buying it. And so then all the bath water was 250 bucks, And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, I... <laughs> it would I be a fun standards. theory. <laughs> no, it was... I, it would be a good theory. I think it would be funny. Like, it was one that I was excited about. But it was also like, am I really going to pay $250 for whatever this whole thing was? No. See, I think the title of the video of like, I tested Belle Delphine's bath water would have would have made back the two. Oh, I know. The, the episode would have made it back. It's just, do I want to support this thing? Like, that was yeah. more my thing is like, I as a consumer, yeah, do I really? And I as a YouTuber, that's do fair. I want to support what this represents? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should sell my bath water. You don't take baths. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. St- oh, Stephanie. Oh, I'm no. sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> 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 See, this is Stephanie at two in the morning on a Wednesday. <laughs> That's it. This is it. That's it. <laughs> this, this and it's is... like, oh. <laughs> with the lore hits. I don't know I if know you're cracked face. out. On, I don't know if you're like cracked out on the lore or this is you glazing over. It's glazed. This is 100% glazed. <laughs> It's also me when a new FNAF is announced. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, no party, no good party without a bite. There's no good party without a bite. Oh, you bite a cake. Yeah. Wow, that is. As, that, as, sounds, that looks fun. I would the top top right. I would do that. Would you take a bite of a cake like that? Well, good. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, good. No, I think like as someone who really revels in precision. The fact that someone would take a perfect cake and bite into it would actually drive me nuts. No, but if you were, if also, you were the one post, doing it. in a post-pandemic world, Stephanie. This is my, it's your personal cake. You're contaminating cake. everyone's cake. Oh my gosh. It's your personal cake. Okay, well, fine. And so, so let's say you got your own personal cake. You, you, so you got two yeah. of the same cake, uh-huh. right? Yeah. One, you can cut with perfect precision. Mm-hmm. And the other, you have the opportunity to do, like... As a person yeah. who's like really into precision and all uptight and everything, yeah, that's me. It wouldn't like be cathartic for you to just for one time completely let loose and just be like, I don't. Know. I would rather smash my face in the cake than well, eat it like that. Well, I, I think it falls in the same category. It's different category stuff. <laughs> anyway, your birthday's coming up in August. I'm gonna get you a cake like this, okay. and you can bite it. Okay, okay. we'll do it. I, oh, no, here we go. Some more, some more Drake. Come on, Matt. It's been years. Finishing the pet scop in Mass Effect Theory. Oh, another mine. Oh, the, the, my, Minecraft. Another Minecraft. Fortnite. Did, did, did you mean FNAF? Did, did you mean? Because we haven't. I did like three Fortnite videos for. We Not many. We did a few. We did, we a, did few. a few. Yeah. Hey, if anyone out there is a Fortnite lore expert, hit me up. Yeah, find us because we need help with some of those things. I don't I don't know Fortnite lore yeah. and it, it moves so fast that I can't keep up with it. Yeah. And so if you know Fortnite or Minecraft, let me know because I'd love to have an expert in either of those games to either bounce ideas off of or to help us yeah. on the research side. Yeah. Uh yeah, Petscop. Here's the thing with Petscop. I wanted to finish Petscop. Petscop got too complicated for its own good. It was one of those things. Yeah. And and I mean FNAF has been on the borderline of that for a while, but Petscop really jumped the shark. 
where they released, like, the final three episodes or whatever, and I watched them, and, like, the amount of explanation and... It, it, it was just so, so the, complicated yeah, the at the end. The problem with theories is that if you can't watch it as a new viewer, and ha- if you're watching it as a new viewer and you have no idea what's going on at all, and you can't catch people up in a reasonable amount of time, yeah. then it's really hard to do an episode because it's just, it's too much. Yeah, like FNAF is kind of like that, but even, the, like, the idea of, FNAF is interesting because it's like, the idea of, like, haunted animatronics or being possessed by, like, a VR glitch or whatever, like... Yeah. That you can sort of stuff. Explain that in one sentence. Yeah, it's one yeah. sentence. Yeah, you might miss out on some of the details, which I kind of flesh out in the intros. But like, for the most part, you can get it right. Oh, it's a spooky thing. Petscop is so well crafted, but also plays with so many ideas that it was starting to get complicated, even for me to discuss it with anyone else on the team, and and for me to even keep track of it myself. And by the end, there were so many things all happening all bouncing off of each other that just was like too much and so that's yeah. why I ended up moving and it wasn't one of those episodes that it seemed like people were like super excited about so I'm like okay Mass Effect I was doing indoctrination theory and the, I did the first part of it and everyone's like we already know indoctrination theory and so I'm like okay oh, I'll, all right, no, all right well then I just don't have to do it yeah. like I didn't want to do things it was the same thing with the Kirby theory where yeah. people were like I already know that Kirby is that people already know yeah like sometimes it's surprising to me you know, like the Kirby stuff yeah, was surprising to me. Know. I didn't know that Kirby was technically and canonically a like god of destruction who was descended from this like lore of chaos gods yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that like, was really cool. I didn't know that, yeah. but apparently the Kirby community did know that and were really upset that I was talking about it. And so I'm like, okay, I'll I'll back off and talk about how Kirby flies instead. Right. So, but. The we fan really bases liked... keep narrowing down the types of games that I can talk yeah, about. Sometimes it, yeah, so, uh, sometimes it's that the, the whatever it is is just getting too complicated. And other times it's honestly, Mm-mm. it's like the fan base is kind of, I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. This, yeah, the, Petscop was too complicated. Mass Effect was too well known. And then you have like uh, <laughs> Kirby or Undertale, which is like the fan base just really didn't mm-hmm. like it. Hollow Knight, another one where like the fan base just wasn't into... The theory, like, they're like, well, yeah. you missed this and this. And I'm like, I know that. I'm aware. But I'm... Kinda, ju- it makes it, it's not fun. Yeah, it makes it not fun. It, it, it really, it's not fun for us to do it if, like... If yeah. everyone just, like, you know... Because at the end of the day, like, these are fun, right? And these yeah. are fun for me. Like, as I, I played Hollow Knight, I was like, yeah. whoa, this is a cool idea. Like, I get the sense that my character is something more than what he is. And sure, there are pieces and parts here and there that might not quite add up. But if you look at the grand total of evidence that would support a theory like this, that that he is actually the king or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's enough there to make an interesting narrative, but there are some fan bases who are so literal and, like, are just so unwilling to, like, ask themselves certain questions. That I'm like, okay. Like, if they're not having fun uh, with it, yeah. it's not fun for me at that point. And I, like, I don't want to have to explain myself all the time. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I'll just... Forget it. Hey, more Minecraft and FNAF because those people seem to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no offense, but it, it, it's it's more of just, like, a general feeling about things. Yeah. Game theory meme. Okay. Oh, it's film theory overused memes. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Overused memes. Wait. Game theory Wait, meme. Overused okay. memes okay. is film theory. Okay. Oh, that's the old timer. Memes. Okay, relevant is game theory. Okay. Original memes. Hey, yo. Yeah, we're original over here. FNAF memes is the theorist to prove. And then game theory memes are the nugget theory. This is true. This is the most meta. It's, it's a reference to a game theory episode that was a, a meme in a game theory episode about a very specific franchise. Great. This, great. Is, this is actually very accurate. Right? This is good. This is very true. Oh, my God. Film, poor film theory. Poor film theory. Poor film theory. We Overused love memes. Film poor theory. film theory. Uh, game theory be like, memes, FNAF memes. <laughs> Well, there you, it's true. Hey-o. Based on the last right. one, they are the game theory approved ones, or the Matt Pat Point approved ones. Right. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, we got a PewDiePie, and that's a fact. Game theory. The game theory subreddit cares way too much about FNAF, and that's a fact. Yep. Yeah. That's true. That's fair. I mean, yeah. On, on, the accurate. Is that a know, meme? It's just a it's this statement is, of fact. This is a statement. I don't want to be mean, but, but. <laughs> no, mom. It's okay. You're just stating the truth. <laughs> No, I appreciate that people are excited. Like, yeah. I like that people want to solve FNAF and Minecraft with me. Yeah, it feels. When I it need feels more like people to want effort, to solve Fortnite with me. Yeah, when it feels like a team effort, that's when it's fun. That's the best. Yeah, it's true. 
And also, whoa! Whoa, hey yo! Demonetized! Oh man, if the Plumbus didn't get us in trouble, this definitely, what is this? What is this? going on? So this is just, what sort of Ballora is this? This is Balloon Ballora right here, okay. Oh Jesus. This is just haunting my okay. nightmares. Okay, alright. Right, okay. never gonna unsee that one. Okay. No, that, that is burned into my mind. Lol, Matt Matt has too many FNAF theories. This subreddit, literally any other GT meme template, this template! It's <laughs> true. That's great. It's true. Please give them another template, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like we've given them a lot of content that they can riff off right, of. Right, you do have a, like a zillion a of... GT Live episodes. You can. You, he's made He's made every face under the... Look at this. Sad, okay. happy, scared. Oh, screamer. Ah! Right, there's so many. There's so many things. You have a cutout of me that you can use. You have beard pat. That you can use is like the dark matte pat version. Mm. I'll, I'll give you guys more meme stuff. Man. I'll give you more meme fodder. How about that? Just in case we need more of this template. Here, th yep, this is it. <laughs> it really, yeah. This is amazing. Any other template, this template. This template. There it is. It's, it's a meme of its own meme template. That's love brilliant. Love I love it. it. Oh, here we go. You can't deny this. The density of content made by... Everything out. Hey, they were actually generous in the amount. I know. Of content. I think that's about right. It's I think that's good. Did you did you do the math? Because if so, come Kudos out and be a to researcher you, to right? us. Yeah, well done. What is our actual percentage at this point? Oh. FNAF is creeping up. Minecraft is holding I'm its own. I'm telling you, as soon as the gaming industry stops pushing back these titles, we can start to do other stuff. <laughs> it's as soon as the gaming industry produces stuff that's like original and thoughtful. What are people well, playing right now? Well, we did. Um, it's always going to be this. Oh yeah. We did I was gonna uh, do Doom. Animal Crossing. I was going to do Doom, we but Doom do answered Doom. its lore at the end, right. so there wasn't a, there wasn't much. Unless I was doing, like, ending explained, but that's just me explaining things. Animal Crossing just doesn't have that many we, we did We did Animal Crossing, and we could do more about, like, Tom Nook and stuff. Like, that, I was happy that people liked that one, so we could do more. Yeah. Mario, and, like, Nintendo properties tend to be, like, evergreen. Like, those are always good. But, like, from PS4, and or from PlayStation and Xbox... From a theory perspective, it's actually hard. And there haven't been as many, like, breakout indie games this year either. It's true. There haven't been a lot of indie titles. Like, I was really glad that we got to cover Hello Puppets, actually. Because yeah. I was like, oh, a, a good, an indie game mm -hmm. that's, like, a, a spoopy kind of indie game. Like, there hasn't there haven't been any really new releases of, like, Hello Neighbor or Kindergarten or... Siren Head doesn't have any lore attached to him either, I don't think. No. We should play Siren Head. Okay. I haven't played Siren Head. I've seen all the memes about Siren Head. Yeah. But we should do Siren Head. Uh, hey, oh, here we go. Ah. I have nothing important. Just theory wear in Animal Crossing. And I just wanted to show that's <gasps> Look! Awful. Oh my It's gosh. so good! Oh, that's so awesome. Yes! Oh, and look, it's Ali is trying. Aww. This is great. So I will say, and maybe I should search on the uh, on Twitter, or if you guys can find it on Twitter, send it to me again. There were a lot of people who were making game theory oh my gosh. related stuff can on Animal please, Crossing. Can we please highlight so that kind of stuff? Great. I would love that would to be highlight so it. Cool. If you can put it on the subreddit or tag it that with hashtag so GT Live, awesome. it's so much easier we to We can put help. it up on like Twitter and Instagram and all that it's stuff. It's so It's so cool. This is great. I love this. And this is a hard design it, like, to makes recreate. Me really too. Happy. Yeah. This this is awesome. This makes me so happy. Right? Anyone gonna do the wallet? Oh yeah. Gonna do the oh, hoodie that you're wearing right yeah, now? It's 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 my, it's my leg blanket. It would, it would be hard to do a holographic of the leg blanket, I'd say. This is great. Thank you so much for it's this. so cool. So good. I love it. Notice the search bar in the title. I made this meme in PowerPoint. I want to die. Film theory. You'll die before the B-movie meme. And they did want to die. Oh. They died before the end of the episode. Oh. So the episode was too long, let alone the B-movie wow. meme. Wow. Wow. I'm glad that someone dug up a deep cut of Film Theory. Film Theory getting some love yeah, on Meme film Monday. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, Film Theory. Good job, Film Theory. We you might be full theory. of overused dead memes. but Is it really? I guess so. Some of the, some of the research team that we have uh, helping us out with Film Theory, some of them don't watch as much internet as they <laughs> should. I don't watch as much. You mean no one watches any and it's up to me to infuse everything. Yeah. <laughs> with actual relevant yeah. And, and that's relevant by my standards, which we established like, okay, is a year late. I did a calcium thing. meme in an episode recently. <laughs> oh, and I know, and I knew, and I knew oh, when I no. wrote it, I'm like, oh, this is so old, but this is a perfect opportunity for sometimes, you know, sometimes in our episodes, they don't just lend themselves the to the timely strikes. meme. Sometimes you can't randomly insert a moth looking at a light and being excited. That's another year plus old <laughs> meme. That's like three years. <laughs> <laughs> you put that in. 
No, I didn't. Because I haven't had the opportunity. Calcium <laughs> just opened itself up to calcium. Uh, I'm able to com I'm able to comment about recent YouTuber stuff more than I am memes. Memes are harder to work in. Sure. But sure. It's <laughs> yeah. But anyway, the, the people who who help us on um, film theory are very smart. But they're like cinephiles. They're like. I'm a movie buff, and YouTube is like, I just I just write for your little YouTube channel, but like it's not like a real thing. Yeah, so some of them <laughs> aren't the biggest fans of YouTube, and I'm like, all You're right, like, that's guys, fine. Come on, it's fine. Your research is solid. You're it's right. great. Yeah, so uh, we have the research because like I'm I know a lot about a lot of different things, but I'm not an expert in like all the Marvel comics and no, all the you lore need for help. You need help, you need right? Help. And so we have spent, just so you guys know, like we have specialists who are researchers for specific types of things. Like we yeah. have the guy who knows legal stuff. We have the guy who knows like... Marvel uh, stuff. Marvel stuff. We have the uh, guy who, and, and comic books. We have, we have a computer engineer. We yeah. have like who, who, who can help <coughs> us like create macros to count all of the Huns that Mulan kills and yeah, stuff, like so, all of that. Yeah, it's yeah. just one of those. So we have a research team around us who help us put a lot of this stuff together oh, yeah. at this point. Or, cause, More on film theory than game theory. Yeah. Matthew still has to write so much of the game theory I stuff that it's crazy. I still do most of game theory because I'm the only person who really knows Minecraft. Yeah. I'm the only person who really knows FNAF. I'm the only person who really knows like a lot. Like Poor buddy. I'm also the one of the few who's like actually comfortable with the science stuff, and so like more science-based theory. We had a science guy yeah. for a while, but he went off to college actually. <laughs> um, he was great. He was, he was really he smart. He was so smart. I loved him. Um, we wrote like an amazing recommendation letter to him, and he got into the school of his dreams, which was great. So I was Yay! super happy about that. But um, like he did the stuff about Roche limit in uh, Mario Odyssey and stuff, which so cool. which was concepts that I'd like vaguely aware of, but I would never just like associate. And that allows us to do more of you know different topics on the channel which is always great like coming from a theater background i love that collaborative spirit that comes with that sort of stuff because it means that the content's that much better you're drawing from my dated meme references and stephanie's dated meme references and researcher x very dated meme references <laughs> and it all comes together in a video that would have been relevant a year ago yeah huzzah <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh here we go perfect so this is a remix uh okay. I, I, I pulled it up in a separate window so this is austin's uh lava okay this video is the remix okay. okay so i was watching a brand new science video and everything was fine until austin as usual got mad and turned on the rap god inside of him oh, god. this is when i felt it was high time to make a remix Enjoy. great Awesome. I'm going to double this just to make sure the post isn't too short. I did it three times to make sure it hit the quality limit for Amazing. the Reddit post. Okay, it's, you did great. Thank you for that. You did let's, it. Let's okay. crank up the audio here. I want to hear this. Crank up the tunes. Sometimes, I'm glad that Austin's getting some love here. Sometimes Austin uh, lays down some very interesting things in his videos. Here we go. Great. Okay, oh, here we go. Laying down oh, the yeah. sick beats. Here's the beats. Oh, throw that netherite in that lava. Oh, what a waste of netherite. Here we go. There it is. That's why lava makes no freaking sense. It's just some, like, there we go. hot, dangerous water that flows slowly and destroys your stuff for no reason. I hate it! Yeah, this is about on par with three down only to find myself in a pit of lava and have a grudge against the game for killing me even though what I did was entirely my fault and want to be able to float on lava so I can more easily get away and I want my stuff to survive if I accidentally drop it and it's just, that's just ridiculous. Water that flows slowly and destroys your stuff for no reason. I hate it! And no, I didn't make this video because I lost a hardcore playthrough because I got cocky and started digging straight down only to find myself in a pit of lava and have a grudge against the game for killing me. Wow, wow. my fault and want to be able to float on lava so I can more easily get away and I want my stuff to survive. Look at Austin. Yeah. Wow. Woo, sick. Minecraft is generally all over the map when it comes to heat. You're able to make glass out of sand that you're just like put in your oven. And the beat the beat kind of goes with it. I'm digging it. This is the new club hit, friends. This is it. This is it. the club. When the club opens. Open. Sincerely, Austin. Great. Delightful. Thanks, Robbie's music. Right? That was delightful. Good one. That was fantastic. That was really I, fun. I love that. That made me really happy. Okay, when someone posts with the meme Monday flair, but it ain't Monday. You source bro. You source bro. <laughs> well, there you go, friends. And that's our last one, actually. That worked out really well that that Yay. was the last one that I pulled up. Um, go figure. So there you go. Uh, you can, you know what? You can post a meme. 
any day and flag it with me Monday. Any day can be Monday. You know how we feel about alliteration here on GT right? Live. So this was great. This was really fun. P if you, please send more. Yeah, I know this is. Really, I will this try. Really cool. We'll try and do it more. To give you more meme templates. I don't know. Just do whatever you want to do to me. Mm. Nope, don't nope, don't say that. Nope, mm, nope. That's a regretful thing to have said. Take that back immediately. Said. Don't do any. Make whatever meme templates that you want of me as long as they stay friendly and that one day when my son Oliver grows up and can understand all this stuff, he won't be super embarrassed by what his dad oh, does Oh, no, that's that, that, no, we're way past that. Are we past already. that? Oh, totally. Really? No matter what you did. Like, we get these messages from people being like, oh my gosh, Oliver's going to grow up with the coolest dad ever. And we're like, no one thinks their dad is cool. So, uh, no Oliver thinks I'm pretty cool right now. What? Because I show him how to sweep things. That's true. That you guys, true. We the, sweep One of together. Matthew's and Oliver's activities like is tangled. they sweep things together. We sweep together like tangled, and that makes me very cool. So <laughs> there you go. I taught my kid how to do chores. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys for me Monday. Thanks again. To uh, the, the moderators of the Game Theorist subreddit. And all of the submitters And of everyone the who submitted. Uh, hopefully you saw yourself on here. Uh, this was great. We had a blast doing it. Please send us more. This is fun. We can make this a regular thing. We really need a theme song if we were going to make it a regular thing. It's me Monday and we're recording it on a different day that's not Monday. We're yeah, recording it yeah. on Sunday, but it might go live on Monday. Hopefully it will. As long as the file's not corrupted. <laughs>